Well, a new study finds asymptomatic infections of COVID-19 represent at least a third of positive cases. That's at least one in three people with coronavirus never show any symptoms. So joining us now is Daniel Oren. He is one of the authors of this new report and also a member of the Digital Medicine Group at Scripps Research Translational Institute. Uh, Daniel, it's a mouthful. Great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. Great to be with you, Logan. So very interesting study. T tell us how it was conducted and some more about what the findings were. Yeah, sure. We began tracking this issue back in April last year when it was kind of surprising to hear the disease that made people so sick in some cases could also be asymptomatic. So over the last eight or 10 months, we've actually looked at about 60 studies from all over the world with about 1.8 million people. And the conclusion is that about one out of three people who get this coronavirus never will have any symptoms. The catch is that they still are infected and can make other people sick. And we know now that about half of all new infections are caused by people who, at the time of spreading the virus, actually have no symptoms. So this really is a challenge in controlling the pandemic. So what do you think this now means, especially for restaurants are starting to reopen for outdoor seating, gyms are opening for outdoors, uh, you can go get your hair cut and your nails done now. What do you think this all means as we move forward here? Yeah, you know, I think one implication is we have to change the kind of testing we're doing. The, the, the PCR testing that's being done where they send it to a laboratory, the result comes back a couple of days later, is not effective in stopping the spread of the virus. Instead, we need to move to rapid home tests where folks can do it sort of like a home pregnancy test. You can do it in the bathroom at home in the morning and within a few minutes get the result. And if you're infected, you know to stay home. And in this way, you actually can stop the spread of the virus. Did you learn if somebody with symptoms is, or somebody without symptoms, are they more infectious to somebody else than somebody with symptoms? You know, it turns out that folks who are totally asymptomatic are a little less infectious, but on average, about 20% of all new infections are from people who never have any symptoms at all. There's about 30% of new infections from people we call pre-symptomatic. That means that when they spread the infection, they look and feel fine, but later on they develop symptoms. So the big challenge with this is the folks without symptoms are, are spreading the virus. Do you think that might be because if somebody has symptoms, they might be coughing and sneezing, and then of course the you know the the moisture is going out into the air, whereas somebody who's asymptomatic might not be doing that. Yeah, you know, we don't know for sure, but I think that the one you know, reasonable guess is that are those things like the coughing and sneezing that can you know push those droplets uh, you know into someone else's uh, breathing space. So, but it is surprising to see that so much of the spread of the virus is from people who at the time of spreading actually have no symptoms. Did you learn how long a person who's infected with COVID-19 and showing no symptoms can transmit the virus? How long can they transmit it if they don't yeah, have Yeah, you know, it's a period of about five to seven days on average. So it's a pretty long period. But as I was saying, that, that typical testing we're doing where you send it to the laboratory, often it comes back two or three days later. That means a person might have infected dozens of others by the time they get back a positive result. And they have no idea with the best intentions they've you know, kind of spread the virus. So that's why we need to switch to this rapid home testing to catch folks who, without any idea, are spreading the virus without symptoms. Yeah. Did you learn if the virus is less damaging if contracted by somebody who doesn't have symptoms versus somebody who does have? In other words, if I'm in a room with somebody who doesn't have symptoms and I get it, will that be worse for me than if I get it from somebody who has symptoms? You know, it really depends on, on you and your own health condition. So if you're unlucky, um, you can get a bad case of, of COVID-19 from both asymptomatic and symptomatic people. You know, I should say too that being asymptomatic doesn't mean that nothing happens to you. We actually have studies now that show that lung scans show changes in your lungs, along with, in some cases, inflammation of your heart. So being asymptomatic maybe could be not so great, too. So folks should be careful. Just because one out of three are asymptomatic doesn't mean they're scot-free. Well, really interesting discussion. Uh, boy, I thank you for taking the time. Daniel Oren with uh, Scripps Research. Uh, wishing you all the best. Very interesting. Thank you, sir.